Rescue teams responded to a strange call. A man said he heard a baby crying in his living room. The rescue team quickly arrived at the scene. Strangely, the baby's cries had disappeared. Captain Jack went to the bathroom and listened carefully. There was no sound. Just as everyone was leaving for the night, the captain seemed to hear something. Jack went to the bathroom and knocked on the wall and found it empty. He put his stethoscope on the wall and listened carefully. Then he marked a spot on the wall. While the team was discussing how to break through the wall, Tom picked up his axe and was about to chop it down. Jack stopped Tom. It would hurt the baby inside. The police are on their way. They're going door to door trying to find the person who lost the baby. Jack used a cutter to cut a triangle next to the marker. The team broke the wall open with their hands to reveal a sewer pipe. The cop thought that if someone flushed the toilet, the baby would drown. So she ran upstairs and told everyone not to flush the toilet. The couple upstairs took one nervous look at the police and locked the door. The police found some blood outside their house. The rescue team cut down a section of the sewer pipe. A flashlight revealed a baby inside. The rescue team cut off the excess of the pipe. Jack poured a bottle of lubricant down the pipe. The police followed the blood and found the entrance to the upstairs sewer. The baby was gently pushed out of the pipe. The baby's airway was trapped by the remains and he couldn't breathe. Jack removed the remains with his fingers and the baby cried again. The team rushed to the hospital with the baby in their arms. A police broke broke into the couple's room. They found the baby's mother in the bedroom. She was also unconscious from the hemorrhaging. The baby's mother was also taken to the ambulance. When she came to her senses, she regretted abandoning her child. Jack handed the baby's tiny hand over to her mother. A woman was unable to breathe after her own python wrapped itself around her neck. Rescue teams were dispatched to the scene. The rescue team broke down the door. The woman's python had crawled all over the house. The woman was sitting on the edge of her bed in the bedroom. Unable to move, Jack puts on some gloves and tries to get the snake off the woman. The woman is suffering from severe oxygen deprivation. She's in danger of dying if she doesn't get it off. Tom is quick enough to chop off the python's head with an axe. Without the head, the python's body begins to loosen. The rescued woman especially appreciated Tom's heroism. A little girl named Lily called for help, saying she had a burglar in her house. Lily was so nervous, she couldn't tell us exactly where her house was. The rescue team had to search for the location based on the phone signal. The operator reassured Lily to relax and told her to find a place to hide. The police came to Lily's neighborhood and searched door to door. Tom saw a family with closed doors and windows. The burglar came out with Lily in his hands. The thief let go of Lily after she bit him on the arm. The thief got on his motorcycle and fled. A police car blocked the thief's way. The thief had to turn around and keep running. A strong stream of water washed the thief onto the lawn. It turned out that Tom had used the fire extinguisher on the fire truck to knock over the thief. 